AI is taking over the creative industry at the moment. However, Adobe has been leading the charge with ethical uses of generative AI. Generative AI is still very controversial and rightfully so. We don't know whose work is being used where and what the implications of it are. Either way, it doesn't seem ethical for large AI companies to use the work of millions of artists without their permission to be used as a model for generative AI. Now Adobe Firefly is Adobe's take on generative AI and now it's out of beta. This means one of two things. One, you can use Firefly and Generative Fill and Generative Expand for commercial use. Great. Two, Generative Fill is in the public release of Photoshop, Photoshop 2024. They've also implemented Generative Expand. This is wild. If you want to expand an image, then all you have to do is go to Crop and increase the size of your image. Make sure you've got Generative Expand selected at the top and it'll instantly expand your image using AI. The same goes if you want to remove your X from an image without spending hours with the pen tool, masking and cloning tools. Simply make a rough selection around your X and click expand. Don't like the result? Well, you can click the three variations on the right or simply press generate to get another set of results to choose from. The remove tool is pretty impressive. But what about Illustrator? Where's the love? Well, we're finally here. The most obvious difference you'll see is the contextual taskbar. This bar shows you the following most relevant action for the selected object. This bar might be annoying for some who aren't used to having something in your face when you're designing. However, if you're new to Illustrator or graphic design, this might be just the thing you need to help you get things done faster. For example, you have a shape and you want to create a simple pattern. Instead of having to go to the top, click the object, repeat, then select which repeat option, you can now find it neatly on the contextual taskbar down below. Another cool updated feature that's still in beta is retype. Retype allows you to select an image with text or outline text, non-editable text, and it will identify and match the font with Adobe Fonts. It'll also identify and match fonts you've installed on your computer locally now, which is crazy good. I'm always looking for ways to find new fonts, and whenever I find them, I always have a hard time identifying the font and where I can download it. So this is great. Now, if you struggle to come up with good color combinations or just would like a way of quickly changing all the colors in your illustration with a click of a button, then I've got the feature just for you. Generative recolor is now out of beta. All you do is select your illustration and press recolor. Go to recolor and click one of the sample prompts or type in your own. This feature is incredible. This past year, many creative professionals have been worried about AI replacement. I love that Adobe has made its implementation of AI all about facilitating human creativity. That's what AI should be all about, helping creators work on creative work rather than spending hours choosing some decent color scheme, masking out people and pictures, and sprawling the internet looking for a font that you've seen that you love. We're gonna see more updates during Max 2023 and I'll be there, so feel free to come and say hello. I get a lot of comments asking for us to go deeper in teaching logo type design, pricing and more about the nitty gritty business side of being a designer in 2023. So we've worked tirelessly to be able to bring you Logo Launch. Logo Launch is the flagship logo type design course. It's basically a masterclass. We go through how to design a logo type, which is a word mark, and it will help you take your work from this to this quite easily using a system that many designers have used. Logo Launch is the masterclass for logo type design. It's all of everything I know about logo type design put into a course format and it's ready right now. I'm really excited about it. It's really cool and it's taken a lot of effort. So if you'd like to learn more about Logo Launch and take your design skills to that next level and not become replaced so easily and become a completely different segmented graphic designer, then go ahead and click the link down below or go to logo-launch.com to find out more information about what you'll get. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching and sticking around. I haven't been on the channel as much as I wanted to lately because one, we've got videos coming out, but they take forever to edit, come up with, and record. Two, we've been working on logo launch. And three, because we're trying to make more quality videos for you, bringing you updates, but also teaching you things instead of just putting out content all the time needlessly. So if you guys like that idea of us bringing out more quality content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It means the world to me when you do, and it's free for you to do. And also, if you want some more graphic design content, you're not done yet. There's another video right here that you can go and check out.